All right, this should be a pretty simple video. This is a tire gauge I had purchased that uh, died on me twice over the winter. Uh, battery just went dead uh, for no real apparent reason. Um, just two triple A's. Uh, it's got an actual switch for turning the LED on. That's for where the uh, where you're checking the pressure, and then it's got one. It also goes to the front to the torch or the other LED in the front. Uh, but I think the main thing is this. This is a momentary switch on the front, which turns on the actual part for doing the pressure. Um, so inside, all the stuff over here I already took out. Uh, the switch is on the back side, but I think this the fact that it's just straight powered on all the time. I don't know how much you know leakage or standby, I suppose, standby current it's using. Um, but then there's also another LED under here for backlighting the display. Um, so anyway, I am going to add a switch to this. Uh, so I went and found a, out of a radio, a simple, normally closed, normally open switch. And I'm going to add that into the mix. Uh, probably right around this area on the back side so that it's recessed and not getting bumped so I can turn the thing on and off. Um, I think I'm going to set it up so that it's normally closed uh, when it's out so that when I push it down it's recessed and it's off so it won't get bumped around. Uh, so then I'm going to probably just drill a hole, wire it up, hot glue it and see how well it works. Okay, I'll be back in a second. All right, well, that took a little bit of time. Uh, so, zoom it up here a little bit. So, uh, just drill the hole. The back side pretty easier to see. Drill the hole, made it square. Um, just happened to be that it fits exactly in here, and there's a couple little. Uh, let's see if we got a good focus here. Little plastic things that wedged it right in place. Um, then I super glued it down, hot glued it, and then soldered these super tiny wires on, and add more hot glue so they didn't get destroyed or get pulled off when I was working on it. Okay, so, and I tested it and it does work. Happened to fit perfectly. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to put it back together, if I can remember. Plenty of room inside there. Okay, so none of that. Just make sure. Don't miss anything. Okay, so nothing working. Pop it out, comes on, end light comes on, red light comes on and shuts it off. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so where was this? All right, so also looking at this, this has two different types of coarse threaded screws, two different lengths, and one length of uh, fine threaded for this uh, window smashing thing.
Nehme. Let's see if I even keep any of this stuff in. see right now it's on because it's sticking out we push it down in now it's off and it's clear so in the glove compartment or whatever it's not going to hit that and I accidentally turn on and drain the batteries and kill it all right well there you go quick simple little fix